Hi guys, this is um, a video today about my hair that I had done and um, a styling product and also some earrings that I had gotten. And so I'm in the bathroom so that you can get a little bit better, so I get some better lighting. And it looks a little strange because I tried curling it a little bit. Um, I just was like playing around with it. Um, just a few little curls here and there. Nothing big. Anyway, um, here's the deal. I went and I had it done by a very nice woman. Um, by me, like two towns away from me. And um, I, she said she had done Caucasian people before with extensions. Okay, great. Fine. She's very nice. And I was in there for about three and a half hours, which is fine, and she didn't hurt my head or anything. And I just said, well, do what you think, you know, is best. And, of course, that really doesn't tell them much. <laughs> I said, last time I had it done, I had, like, six rows across the back with corn rows, and then I had hair left out in between. And so she said, well, your hair is so fine and so thin that we should just leave out just the front. So I have just the front. That This is my hair in the front. Now, the reason I have this band, first of all, let me see if I can show you how long it is. Like, this is, and I have dark underneath, and then I have the lighter on top. Okay? Um, they're like 18, I did 18 to 22 inches of hair. Okay, here's the problem I have. Stop with that. Here's the problem I have, okay? The problem I have is that. When I take this off, okay, because I didn't know what else to do with it. When I take this out, here's the problem with the hair. The way that it was done, you can see, here's, here's my hair, okay, here's my, here's my hair. Here's my hair. Last time I had it done, she went around so that the layers of hair could fall over, like a shingle effect going down. And how this lady did it is it's going back in shingle effects. So I don't know how the hell to cover this up. She said... You're going to brush this up over it. You're going to brush this over it. And cover that up. Well, um, I don't know about you, but I have really thin hair. And that ain't covering shit. Okay? So, this little thin bit of hair is not covering all this mess. These are falling, they're, they're supposed to be going back, and I've never had hair weaved in like that. So, look at that. Like, how do I, it's going back instead of around, like I had it done before. I wasn't watching, like, I was just like, okay, well, you know how to do it, okay. And, I mean, she knew what she was doing, but why would you go back with it? Unless this is something that maybe I'm just being ignorant and I don't know how to style it, but how the hell do I work with that? Like, look at that. You know, I'm going to close. Like, look at that. How do I cover that up? I can't cover that up. My hair is too thin. I can't cover that. You can look at that. You can see right through it. And like sideways, you can really see it. You can see all the tracks sideways. So the only thing I, thought, I saw fit to do was, was to put one of these in and just cover it up. Because I really don't know what else to do with it.
I mean, shit, I could have bought one of those wigs. I think I even have one of these wigs that has the headband. It has the headbands and then, you know, the, the half, you know, the fall on the back. It's kind of wiggly right here. I got a straight iron it. I'll curl it something. And let me tell you something. I paid a lot of damn money for this hair. This is a mixture of, this is a mixture of Russian, let me show it. Russian hair. The Russian hair is the darker blonde. And the um, the lighter blonde was, I got that at the beauty store. It's okay. There's a little bit of, let's see how I have the, the damn camera. So I have the dark underneath. Because I have dark roots in my hair right now. And I, that's how my hair was colored, where I had some dark underneath. And then I had some light. Like mixed through it. So I got actually have three colors in here. I have three packs of hair. She put in a pack and a quarter. And um, the dark hair is um, <clears throat> dark hair is Indian Remy hair. I think it's um, Bobby Boss. Anyway, just the blonde Russian hair was over two hundred dollars. I have probably not all the pack, not the whole pack, but I have probably um, over three hundred dollars in my hair, not including what I had, what I paid to get it sewn in, which was not that much. So I don't know. But here's the deal: like I'm, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know if I should take this top part out and have somebody go in and restitch or what. Here's the back. I wanted to brush it out. Just in the length of it. Okay, anyway, so I'm I don't know what to think about it. Like I don't know how I'm gonna I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. Anyway, put the string in that side. Okay, I bought this at Sally's. They had this on sale. It's the kind with no clamp. Because I've seen so many women using these to, you know, roll it back. And anyway, it was on sale for $19.99 at Sally's. I thought it was kind of cool, it's like a giraffe print. So it's normally um, 29 and the brand is, it's called Plugs, the one inch barrel, goes to 400 degrees, thermally, from Sally's. And if I don't like it, they told me I can just return it. So I'm going to try it again and maybe, you know, put some curls in this or straighten it. I haven't, I haven't made my mind yet. I don't know what to do with it. Be quite frank with you. Um, on a great note, I got some kick ass earrings in today. And I know that these are probably really played out, but I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I do what I want. I thought they were so pretty. And I'm, I'm not about to pay paparazzi prices. I was going to make my own, which I still probably will because I have some stuff coming up from eBay to make them. But I found these on eBay. They're gold. They, they look silver in this light, but they're actually gold, and they're like gold and black. They're really, really pretty on. This light's kind of deceiving, but they're really pretty. They're like a, they're like a bronzy gold. They're so pretty. Put them on. And they're not that heavy. They're just really pretty with this hair color. These would be gorgeous on uh, dark skin women. Beautiful. They're like, go for the gold ones because they are, they're like stunningly beautiful. And they look so huge when you first get them, but when you put them on, I don't think they look that big, especially if you, if you have a lot of hair in. These are so pretty in person. Like, I can't even, if you want to know where I got them, message me and I'll give you her information on eBay. They were like $16 and then shipping. And I got them like in two days. Like she's so fast. And then I got these. I think I'm going to order another pair in gold and these in gold. But these are the silver with the 
Diamond Rondell. And honestly, I thought I would like these so much better. I, I like the gold ones better. I think the gold ones are hot. These are okay. I think, I think you, you know, maybe if I had dark hair, they would look prettier. But those are the silver ones. It'd be prettier if I had hair around my face. Not a freaking headband, but you have to do what you have to, you have to do. What you got to do. What, I mean, I think once I straighten it out totally, or if I put some pretty curls in it, I think it looks better. But I don't want to be walking around with a headband on all the time because this is not why I got extensions to wear a headband, or I could have just worn a wig, you know, like a half wig. Uh, anyway, so aren't these cute? I know everyone has them. I don't care. I think they're so cute. I just now got them, so they're new to me. So, I think these are probably like maybe 4 inch hoops, 3.75, not sure. But, I think they're so cute. So, I'm going to like. So cute. And they're really not that heavy, but these, these are gorgeous. Um, I'm going to get the ones that have the gold mesh balls in the next. I don't know if you can see that, but they're like a burnt, they're like a, um, they're like a burnt purple gold. They're, oh, they're, they're really pretty in person. You just can't really see in this super light in my bathroom, but they're really pretty. They have the gold rondelles as spacers. They're so pretty on, let me tell you. They're really pretty on. Anyway, I love getting little gifts in the mail. It's like my favorite thing is to I always tell my son, go get the mail, go get the mail. Or else I go get it. Like today I got it, and he already got it. And then I got these, which, nothing special. No, they're all right. I bought these at the store. They're okay. I don't get real excited over these. These are all right. Lately, I've been getting into some big earrings, though, because the bigger your hair, the bigger the earrings. Like, if you wear small earrings, you look like, it looks like a, like a ant sitting on an elephant. I don't know. Looks bad. Looks looks stupid. And if you don't, if you aren't into big earrings and you're one of those women who are afraid to wear big earrings, don't be afraid. Wear what you want. Oh, these are actually kind of pretty. They have oh, wrong side. They got diamonds just going on the outside. Just plain on the inside. These were kind of what was popular last year. I thought these were pretty. And these are smaller. These are probably. I don't know, three inches, three inch hoops. So, that's a total or something. So anyway, um, let me know what you think I can do with this. Like, should I take out the top and have them sew it around? I mean, I really don't want to take out part of it and redo part of it. It's kind of defeating the purpose of me spending the money to get it. But I don't understand why she would sew it like that. And I didn't really want to question her because I haven't, I've only had to sew them one time before. And she's the professional, not me. And I don't want to look like I'm, you know, after she just spent three and a half hours of my hair, like, I, like I'm not grateful for her or something, even though I'm the paying customer. Um, but maybe it'll work out. But give me some tips. Like, should I redo it? Should I just wear this in it all the time? Should I pull it all up halfway in a clip and wear it? I mean, you let me know. See what we can figure out. So. Um, but definitely, if you are into these earrings, I know there's a lot of bootleg earrings like this on the on uh, YouTube and on eBay. But I'm telling you what, out of all the ones I saw on eBay, I just took a chance and ordered these, and they're they are so nice in person. The gold, I'm I'm so excited about the gold ones. The gold ones are, are really really pretty. So um, if you are interested in them, I will give you a message. I'm also still going to make some, so I still have that. If you want a pair, I'll make you a pair. Just show me what outfit they go really great with, and I'll send you a pair as a giveaway. So, thanks for watching, and um, Bye. talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, baby. I can turn this sucker off. Bye-bye. It will let me. Sometimes it won't. It's not let me. Bear with me here, I'm trying to get my video off.